Kirsten Han is an internet journalist for The Online Citizen, one of the many independent web publications that have sprung up in Singapore. The Online Citizen records a daily video show that focuses on the upcoming election in the city-state. That's part of a social media revolution that is changing how Singaporeans get their news. I think social media has become much more of the norm for being the place you go to when you're looking for information. It's so convenient, it's so easy. So if you see Singaporeans on the trains, they're always looking at their phone. Being an independent publication or blogger in Singapore's tightly regulated media market isn't for the faint-hearted. The city's mainstream media are controlled by companies with ties to the government, and online commentators who criticise the country's leaders are kept in line by Singapore's strict defamation laws. According to the 2015 World Press Freedom Index, Singapore ranked alongside the likes of Libya, Belarus and Iraq. But in a country with the world's highest rate of smartphone ownership and a youthful, well-educated population, social media and online publications have quickly become a popular way to spread election-related news. I think social media does make a difference because it also keeps a check on the mainstream media. So people know that you know, they can check to both sources to see what's being reported, what's not in each. And I think because of social media, the mainstream media has bucked up on their coverage of opposition parties. Furthermore, politicians on all sides of the political spectrum have twigged to the power of social media, with the likes of the Prime Minister regularly tweeting photos and updating his Facebook page with policy statements. The likelihood of any result other than a resounding victory for the ruling People's Action Party on Friday is virtually non-existent. However, with so many differing voices online offering so many differing opinions, the government's days of being able to control Singapore's media coverage appear to be numbered. Mark Wembridge, Financial Times, Singapore.